In this video, I will show you how to sell ebooks on Selfie. So if you don't have a Selfie account yet, you can use the link down in the description to get a 14 day free trial, no credit card required. Now the reason that you probably want to use Selfie instead of another website builder such as Shopify is because Selfie is actually made to sell digital products such as ebooks. So therefore, I do also like Selfie more if you are selling digital products. So again, you can click on the link down in the description to take you to Selfie and get a 14 day free trial without a credit card and then here what I recommend you do is click use cases and then digital downloads. So now here I'm going to click start 14 day free trial and now in order to get started you can simply sign up with Google or enter your details manually. So then here enter your store name and you can choose your domain right there although you can later change this to a custom domain and I'll also show you how you can do that. Now what products do you intend to sell? Here it's important to choose digital downloads. So then click next. Now you can simply skip this question if you want and then for this one how would you categorize your store? Just choose one of the categories here for example education and click start 14 day free trial so that will take you to your dashboard right here now in order to start selling ebooks it's really simple all you need to do is follow the steps here step number one add your product so click add product here now click digital products so you will see ebooks is one of these products so just going to click right there and now here upload your ebook so i'll just upload and so i'll just upload this file as an example but you just want to go ahead and upload your ebook now next you want to enter the product name for your ebook so just name it whatever it is named then after that add your product description now this is an important part kind of mention what is included in your ebook and why it may be good for people to buy so just gonna write a good looking description right here and include some bullet points or a list like this you can also upload images in here if you want just make sure this looks very good next select a product category if you don't have one yet you can click add new or you can skip this now for the product preview we want to upload a preview of your ebook so for example you can create a mock-up of your ebook so so something like this right here so you can just use a website for this just search up ebook mockup and then you can create one so for this example i'll just take this image right here and now here go ahead and upload that image then next up you want to set your pricing settings so choose your currency and how much the ebook costs so for example 30 us dollars and then for the stock you can set it to unlimited or if you want to only sell it a couple of times you can just set it to a certain stock and then it can only be sold for example 10 times so for me i'll just keep it to unlimited now you can add in variants if you want and manage the custom fields now after you do all of this click save product and now we have created our product now if you click view in store you will already see a preview of what it looks like right here but next we are actually going to customize this page to our liking so close this and close this as well and then go back to home now here is step number three customize your store so click customize store right there now click customize store again so that will take you to the store customizer right here now first what i recommend you do is to set your store settings so your general settings as store style so first let's click store settings and here just go and upload the logo for your store so click right there and then click upload image so for example if that's my logo then now you can see it right there now if you click on it you can change the size of it if you want for example i'll make it medium now in general settings you can also set the store features so for example your shopping cart now i don't need store login or search so i will just turn those off now i would also recommend to hide powered by selfie just to make it more professional now here you can also add in custom code when you have ended your free trial so then you can add in a chatbot for example or you can add in reviews or anything like that so now after you add the general settings go back and select your store styles so they have a bunch of themes you can pick from so here you have a couple of them now for example i like this one right here called savant so i'll click apply theme right there and then click apply so now you will see it right here with your product etc so now that we have chosen our theme right here you can choose your colors so you can set your page width i'll just keep it to the standard right here then here you can set a background so you can choose the color for example right here now it's in this color but if i want to simply undo this you can just click on this little icon right here and then it will be undone now for the bottom color for example if i have a specific brand color let's say it is red and i can simply change this to a kind of red color right here you can also upload your custom code if you want now here you can also change the corners of your actual buttons right here so for example i kind of like this one so i'll keep it like that and you can just go and customize whatever you want so you can also change the fonts etc so now that we have some general store settings and styles what i want to do first is go to the product page since this is probably where you will lead your customers so here in the product page you'll just be able to customize the template so this is not your actual product but it will show your product when you actually publish your website so you can just click on any part here and then you will see this so you can change the colors of the title so this is the title right here then this is the text and this is the sidebar color so you can change any of those if you want and you can even change the background 
effect. So for example, if I go here and I change this to red and then change the opacity right here to 100, you will now see that the background changes to red. Now, if I make this 10, for example, it will just be a little bit red. So you can just go and customize that however you want. You can also turn on to have a dark overlay, but I'll just keep it like this. Now for the text color, let's say that I want that to be the red color as well, then I can simply customize that right there. So just go and customize the template for your product page right here to your liking and make it look nice. Now, once you have finished editing this, you can click save draft right here. Now, for example, if you want to remove the about page, what you can do is click on back here then click back again. And then you can simply click on this bar right here where it says about, then you can click about here and then click delete link click delete and now it will be gone. Now I will do the same for contact. For example, if I don't want to have a contact page and I will only have products. Now, for example, also, if you don't have a newsletter, you can just click on this part and fully delete it and then it will be gone. Now you can also add modules if you want. So you can add products grid, a contact form, you can embed a code, newsletter, text, or anything else. So for example, if I do a code bar right here and I want to move it up a little bit, you can just drag it up here. So here, for example, I could add in a review section so then you want to click edit code and just enter the code right there and you can just create a review widget with a bunch of different tools so just search up create review widget and then you will be able to get the code and enter it in right here so it's really simple and after you've done all of this click on publish and now when we go in and leave the editor right here we can now click view my store and now if I head over to the product section you will now see my ebook here and if people click on this they will then see the ebook now I didn't add a description or anything but you do want to go ahead and do that so so that people can see that. Now here, of course, you can also add in the custom code and enter reviews or enter any images or videos, whatever you want. So now if I click add to cart, it will be in my cart and I can go to checkout. So now people can actually go and buy this. However, what you need to do first is to go back here and then go to home and actually connect a payment gateway. So click connect payments and they have made this really simple. Here you can also change your primary account currency. But what you want to do is go and connect Stripe. So if you already have an account, click connect an existing Stripe account. If you don't have one yet, click create a free Free Stripe account and then people will be able to pay with Visa, Mastercard, Google Pay and Apple Pay. Then on top of that you will also be able to connect PayPal if you want. So just go and enable that. So just go and click connect with PayPal or connect Stripe or create Stripe account and then you will have a payment gateway. Now finally here you can select your plan. So if we click choose a plan you will see what's included in each plan. So in the starter plan right here which is $22 per month if you pay one year. However I do recommend to pay for two years because then you will get a nice discount. But here you'll get up to 10k in sales per year if that's not enough you can do up to 50k or even up to 200k and you can also see what's included in each of these plans now before we actually launch our store i do recommend to actually connect your custom domain if you have that so to do that just click store settings right here and then scroll down until you see custom domain and just enter your custom domain right there and then here you will see the instructions that you need to do in order to actually point the domain to your selfie store and for that you need to create a cname record but just click see full instructions here and that will make it pretty simple now you can also change the store language etc right here now what i like is that you can also set up discounts really easily so here you can just go to coupons and sales add a new discount then for example i'll say coupon and then for example 50 percent off on my ebook right here and then you can actually create a coupon code for a certain amount of time so if you want to set it for one week for example then you need to turn off no expiration and then you can just set it to next week and then if you launch it and promote it to your audience they will be able to get a 50 percent discount using the coupon code you enter right here so that will really get you started with some sales so then you also have upselling and email marketing so the email marketing card abandonment tool is really helpful so if a person adds your ebook to their card but don't end up actually purchasing it you can set up an automated campaign that will send emails to them that will maybe get them to still actually buy the product now if you want to track your sales you can go to analytics and here you will see your store visits purchases conversions and revenue so now you know how to sell ebooks on selfie again you can get a 14 day free trial no credit card required using the link down in the description if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said i will see you in the next video